And now I want to introduce Cindy Bacchus, who is a social <coughs> media professional. Uh, she is also president and owner of a company called Out of the Box uh, Marketing in Frisco, Texas. Cindy. My son went to Carpenter Middle School. I, both my kids, my daughter and my son, went to Christie Elementary School. I've been a part of Plano for a very long time. Today I want to bring truth to the many lies that surround the vertical image, or called me, that has been collaged together with two 2016 link posts. Link meaning a click on the social post that will drive you to a specific URL in its current design and its current editorial state. This was brought from 2016. Number one, this image, the vertical image, which I say was on the collage, was not on Councilman Harrison's Facebook timeline. It was cut and pasted into the collage by one of the social bullies to try and present a pattern of hatred. This image has more than 25 billion 270 places on the internet. If you have done your research correctly, you would see that. We all live at the mercy of the website owners when we are reading their articles. They are in charge of the editorial content and can change them at any time. They are also in charge of all social <coughs> sharing, advertising, and other HTML code that is inserted. Number two, I found this collage of images on the Let's Keep Plano Accountable Facebook group. The group responsible for sharing lies, hatred, name calling, and filled with people whose main mission in their current lives is calling for people's jobs. Now, I don't know about you, but I would say they got too much time in their hands and a little bit of self, low self-esteem. Number three, after spending several hours of time scanning Councilman Harrison's Facebook timeline, the personal settings, and asking about the main piece of technology used for Facebook activity, I was able to come to this conclusion. Councilman Harrison's Facebook timeline was filled with posts about Plano events, supporting the community's organizations, his family, and many others supporting veterans. The vertical image or meme that was cut and pasted into a collage was never on Tom Harrison's Facebook timeline. It, that image is the wrong shape, and size for Facebook. I only found a series of six posts which began with a confirmed website URL share from CNN and a comment from Tom about a veteran who had frozen to death on the streets. Now you can only imagine what Tom was feeling when he was reading that article. It makes me personally and physically nauseous to think that this is happening in our country today. The posts that followed consisted of five link posts which some included an empty image slot due to the fact that Facebook was unable to locate those images. These were all time stamped the same day and some even with the same time. Through my many years of training and experience, you only see this type of problem when a person is scrolling through a website and the share button is pressed without their knowledge. This happens on mobile platforms all the time. You may think that all website social sharers are a double opt-in, but they are not. If you have your Facebook open, which we all do on our phones at all times, because you actually have to log out on the button to log out of social media. The website owner preys on our inability to surf their website and click on links, shares, and advertising. Now this may seem unethical, but this is actually their business model today. Facebook Truth. The platform has been having product problems and API issues with developers since 2006. Hence, Mark Zuckerberg's tour of the White House. Mr. Harrison cares so deeply about this community that he has selflessly served on the Plano City Council and many other community leadership positions throughout the years. He should not be put through this witch hunt because of a group of people who are socially bullying him this Plano City Council and the community with their lies, their inaccurate social media research, and double standards that they believe in. I hope and pray this community steps up to the social and community bullies who have lied and presented inaccurate information about Councilman Tom Harrison. 